Hello, Adams Tigers. I'm here in this beautiful island setting so that we can make an instrument from ordinary household items. We need to use two plastic spoons. I have two right here. Mine are black, but you might have white ones or clear ones. These are just the ones that came from Los Arroyos. Evidently, I've been eating there too much because I have lots of these black spoons from Los Arroyos. And I need some tape like this. Any kind of tape. It doesn't have to be clear. It can be a color if you want. And you need a piece of paper. And you want a piece of paper that's a little bit thick, like, like construction or art paper if you have any. If not, you can use regular paper. You just have to fold it a little bit more to make it thick. The very first thing that we're going to do to make our musical spoons is fold this piece of paper like a hot dog bun, lengthwise. Right down the middle so it's still long. And now we're going to take the same piece of paper and fold it in half so it becomes a square. Next, we are going to fold it lengthwise like a hot dog bun again. So the paper keeps getting thicker. And the last step with this piece of paper is we're going to roll it up so it becomes like the actual hot dog that would go inside the bun. We're going to roll it so that it gets thick like an adult thumb. Maybe like a sleeping bag. Now I have this big roll of paper and I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to wrap some tape around it so it stays in a roll. Might put an extra piece on there so it doesn't come apart. And it stays nice and tight. Great, now I have this roll of paper. And I'm going to take my two spoons and I'm going to put one spoon on each side of this roll of paper. And I want them facing with the convex side, the side that sticks out, I want those sides of the spoon to face each other. But I don't want them to touch. And mine are a little close together, so I'm going to turn my roll around because I think one side's a little bit thicker than the other. Just needs to be squished a little bit. And I have now my two spoons have a nice space between them. And I'm going to hold them tight with one hand and make sure they're nice and even and the same height. And now I'm going to take another piece of tape and roll it around and tape the spoons to the piece of paper all the way around so they can't move. And they'll stay in their spot. And I'm going to put a second piece of tape so that it's taped on the top of the paper and the bottom of the paper. And I think that is nice and tight now. And I have a big nice space between the two spoons. And now we have a musical instrument. And you can play it on a table, you can play it on your arm or your leg. You can run it down your fingers and see if you can make. Sometimes it works, it depends on the spoons. You now have a musical instrument to play that we are going to use on our next video when we sing a song and use our spoons in the song. It's so nice to be able to create something with you. And we'll see you next time, Tigers. Bye.